It's the second earthquake in the area in two weeks, shaking a large part of Southern California. The quake centered on the suburb of La Habra, around 30 kilometers east of downtown Los Angeles. Its fire department rushed to the scene to check for any damage. Emergency services reported of gas and water leaks and power cuts to some areas. Public safety officials said crews were inspecting bridges, dams and rail tracks for any signs of damage. We've had a very energetic uh, aftershock sequence. There was a magnitude 3.6 foreshock about at one hour before the, the main shock. Since that time, we've had a number of aftershocks up to about 20. If you felt a long, slow roll, you're relatively far away from the event. We're having an aftershock now about 2.7. Eyewitnesses described how the walls were shaking and all they could hear was the glass smashing around them. I was ringing up a customer and I think just suddenly we got a blackout and the building is shaking like crazy, you know. So, and then I just screamed to everybody, just get out from the store, you know, because everything is fell apart from the wall, you know, I can, I can hear the noise. The western U.S. state has long braced itself for a devastating quake. The San Andreas Fault on the edge of the Pacific Teutonic Plate runs directly through California. The latest quake was a reminder for those living in that part of the world for the need to be prepared. Nicola Carroll, BBC News.